Before he was the smooth-talking sage in a V-neck sweater on YouTube. When you get to something that's authentic, it ex you experience this type of creativity, this, this soul. Before he founded the strange and secretive group with a name like a Roman numeral, Keith Ranieri's first big idea was hawking memberships in an ill-fated network marketing company called Consumers Byline. His name is Keith Ranieri. His idea is called Consumers Byline. Consumers Byline may help you. This promotional video for Consumers Byline from the 1990s features the late Eddie Albert of Green Acres fame and a painfully awkward pitchman, 31-year-old Keith Ranieri. Keith, happy to see you again. Yes, happy to see you too. It's an amazing idea. Yes, well, sometimes it even amazes me. But Consumers Byline is wonderful and it's working. And it really was a brilliant idea. It was based on the premise of, as a group, collectively, we can buy in bulk and we can save a lot of money. Tony Natale knew Ranieri before he was Vanguard. She even appears in this 1993 American Spotlight program, lauding consumers' byline. Traditional markups are between four and 800% in the cosmetic industry. When you met him, did he seem like a genius? He seemed like a geek. And I sat down and I asked him, I said, so, you have a 240 IQ. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you curing cancer? Why aren't you really making a difference? And he said, this is the platform that I'm going to use, and I'm going to change the world. Even then, the man who would become Vanguard had big plans. In that American Spotlight video, he sports a beard and a vision. So as far as consumers' byline goes, it's merely a stepping stone to really change the way we live and maximize human potential. Unlike the man from Green Acres, attorneys general in several states didn't think Ranieri's idea was quite so amazing or honest. We first told you about Consumers Byline last May when the company was accused of being an illegal pyramid scheme. Consumers Byline settled without admitting wrongdoing but agreed to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to the states. After that, the company went bust. By that time, Tony Natale was all in. She had left her husband and moved to Albany with her young son to be with Keith. They were together for nearly six years. She says in all night talks, Keith drew out all of her secrets. Here's the smartest man in the world willing to help you through your emotional issues. And the reason that you're stuck in this world and the reason that you can't move on and the reason you can't grow is because you haven't learned how to heal that thing inside of you. I'll help you. I'm going to help you. Make it all better. I'm going to help you feel, heal sexually. I'm going to help you heal intellectually. I'm going to show you the path. Tony saw the early days of Ranieri's partnership with Nancy Saltzman, the creation of Nexium teachings known as rational inquiry, and methods that in court filings she later likened to brainwashing. What Keith does, he elicits all that information from you. My opinion is that what they do from there is they take that information and they utilize that. Where can I not build you up or break you down? According to former members, the sessions came to involve practices such as bowing and a special handshake. At Nexium's Albany headquarters, people inside can be seen wearing sashes. Former members say different colors denote rank. Former coach Margot Joy Leviton says classes begin with a ritual hand clap. When you do something that we would call a huddle, so everyone would put their arms around each other in this big circle. We are committed to our success. And then straight into the mission statement. There are no ultimate victims. Therefore, I will not choose to be a victim. Marco says anyone unwilling to go along with the rituals to Vanguard. Thank you to Vanguard. would be scorned. You would just suppress them and be like, oh, they just don't get it. They just don't get it. I mean, if you step out of line, you get punished. You know, you get a lot of like strong thought control, you know, leveled at you. And you get told. What does you, that mean? It strong? means basically like using intellect to try to, to, to out logic you to basically say, you're the problem. This problem you're bringing us, no, 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 you're the problem. If you question Keith Raniere, the hits the fan. Like you what? Are, you are prideful, 
how dare you? Don't you realize you owe everything to him? And in my mind, I'm like, what? No, you can it? borrow mine. Jen Kobelt is an aspiring actress in Vancouver. But when she joined Nexium, she says her classmates treated her like a star. It was like I was a celebrity. Like, I walked in and everyone was like, who's that girl? And they were so nice to me. She says members were encouraged to socialize with other members. Outside friends faded away. We were told things not directly, but subtly about, you know, who do you want to surround yourself with? Do you want to be surrounded by people who are, you know, just living their life? Or do you want to be surrounded by people who have an ethical mission to change the world? In a recent statement, Nexium claims a 10-year study shows extraordinary psychological benefits and results from its teachings. And Margot, the former coach, says Nexium changed her life in positive ways. But she also describes feeling bullied and manipulated by some of the training, which she says caused her psychological trauma. It feels like they got in there and they messed with my wiring or how I think or my perceptions. And then there's a case mentioned in court filings involving a woman named Kristen Snyder. She went missing in 2003 after walking out of a Nexium intensive in Alaska. Police believe she paddled a kayak out into the bone-chilling waters of Resurrection Bay and committed suicide. Her friend Hillary, who asked us not to use her last name, reads a note that Kristen left. I attended a course called Executive Success Programs, aka Nexium. I was brainwashed and my emotional center of the brain was killed, turned off. Please contact my parents. Sorry. If you find me or this note, I am sorry, life. I didn't know I was already dead. Kristen Snyder's body was never found. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.